Hello everyone, Colin Kinnett here for Woodwork Web. Today I'm going to build this great little wheelbarrow. Now it's not really for hauling things, this is actually going to be more of some garden art if you will, or a, a plant stand uh, in the natural setting. So stick around and see how we build this great little wheelbarrow. Well, before we get started, let me introduce you to my first attempt at this wheelbarrow. I started this 10 or 12 years ago, and I found out just after I got started that the frame that I was making it out of, which is Gary Oak, a lovely hard wood, uh, but it's very susceptible to rot, so it's not a good idea to be using this outside. I don't know why I, for some reason, I thought it was good, a good outdoor wood, but it's not. So... And I also ran into some problems that I didn't quite know what to do with at the time, but I know what I'm going to do with it now. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start off with a good outdoor wood this time. I'm going to be using some red oak, or red cedar rather. And I'm not going to finish it because I love the look of weathered red cedar. It gets sort of a silvery gray look after two or three years, and I love that look. So we're not going to finish it. But the first thing I need to do is to start taking this apart because we need this wheel to get going. I'm going to trim down the handles and make it a little bit lighter. The next thing I need to do is cut off this little grade area here. So I've set my uh, fence at two inches at a depth of about half an inch and we'll just start cutting that out. We'll need two cuts to get those out of there. out of there. There it is. So this is where the wheel's going to go eventually. So I've measured this down and you can see where I need to cut this off. Otherwise it's going to interfere with the wheel. So I'm just going to do this by hand because it's probably going to be as quick to do that. So there's those cuts, and I'll just finish those off by hand. So let's take a quick snapshot of where I am at the moment. What I need to do is put these cross member pieces in. So what I've done is measured from one end so that I know they're going to be parallel and I've marked, and you can probably see the little line here, where I need to cut them because what I'm going to use is pocket holes in this because this wood is so wet and it's going to, because it's outside, it's going to be um, shrinking and expanding, shrinking and expanding, and I think pocket holes are going to be, or pocket um, joinery is going, in this case, is going to be the best solution. Okay, I'm just going to get the right angle on there, then I can set the sliding miter to that.
Now this is the underside of the carriage, so I'm just going to put our pocket holes in now. By marking a center point, it'll be easier for me when it comes to the final assembly. So I just marked every one of the boards uh, and put a rough mark where I need to put a pocket hole in each one of the boards and I'm just going to go ahead and drill each one of those now. Okay, let's have a look and see what that looks like. Ah, perfect. That's just great. Well, we've got the handles done. They turned out well. I like them a little bit rough. This whole thing wants to look a little bit rough. Uh, it wants to look handmade at least. Uh, now what we need to do is flip this whole thing over like that because now we can start installing the little uh, clasps that we made here, the little wooden clasps. Okay, okay, let's try one of these here. That looks perfect. Okay, that's ideal. All we need to do now is to put some screws into those and that will lock the deck. Now I'm ready to secure the wheel and I've got it marked and what I'm going to use for this because it has its own axle I'm just going to use some uh, heavy duty copper plumbing copper and some stainless steel screws and that should hold that very nicely. The reason I wanted to put the wheel on is so that I could figure out where the legs want to sit. And I want to have just a little bit of a slope, uh, and this is maybe even a little bit too much. There, that's better. Okay. Now the last thing I want to do is put a couple of boards on the end like this. But now that I know that uh, how wide these boards are, I can cut those to match 
and I'll put them together with pocket holes and we'll be ready to install them. So to make the brace for this uh, upright, I'm just going to do a freehand. I've got that clamped on there so I can mark the bottom and I know what that is. And I'm just going to do a freehand OG on here. Okay, now we'll take that to the bandsaw and we'll make two of those. There we go, good. Well, and that concludes my uh, little garden ornament slash light duty uh, wheelbarrow. Uh, and I'm sure the resident gardeners are going to be delighted to and anxious <laughs> to put this in the garden and start filling it up with plants, although it's still a little bit early in the season for a lot of them. Don't forget, if you haven't already subscribed, we ask you to do that. Uh, and there will be an article on this in on Woodwork Web, and the link will be in the description box underneath. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and I'm on Instagram as well now, and I'm coming along with that. I'm Colin Cadet for Woodwork Web. Thanks for watching.